beep 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 What's up everybody? My name is Hoover, sucking up a few minutes of your day for the good news. Red Dead Redemption 2, Grand Theft Horse, as Joe likes to put it. PC hasn't been officially announced. They follow a similar game plan to what they did with Grand Theft Auto 5. It'll probably be a little bit behind the console versions. As long as we end up with this one, we never got the other one ported. Blizzard has been stretching out the somber release over the course of months. Anna, Anna, however you say that, had like a week before she came out. She was announced, there was the picture leaked, or released rather, um, and then she came out. Sombra has been this long con and everybody's sick of the shit now. She's probably not gonna be as awesome as they've worked her up to be, honestly. Come on, Blizzard. Also, um, maybe not big news, but amongst the Super Magical crew and their friends, Osiris has come out. We've been pretty excited about it. It seems to be delivering a lot of the things that we've been promised recently that we didn't quite get. <sighs> out of other space games that will not be named. It's a little bit buggy right now, obviously. It's, uh, you have things like texture popping and multiplayer is a little, little weird. Got to see the developers at PAX and they were pretty cool guys and they seem like they've got a pretty solid product here to start. We also got to hear about Nintendo NX, now Nintendo Switch. Works on this sweet little ditty here. Basically a, a, a screen in the center with detachable controllers on either side that you can use to set on the TV. To play on the TV, you take the two sides, make your controller out of it. Looks like you could use either controller individually as well. Um, it looks like it's got a lot of potential. Kind of curious to see how the battery life works out, if it's really plausible to carry around. It's got a sweet little kickstand on the back of it. Um, and they've got tons of third party support that looks super awesome. Um, shots of Skyrim, played the game three times already on three different systems, but hey, why the fuck not another one, right? Plus, portable Zelda, yeah. Yes, please, thank you. The sad news for PlayStation, United Front Games has shut down, unfortunately. They made games like Sleeping Dogs, which means we won't get to Sleeping Dogs 2. Uh, Little Big Planet Karting, Karts, Karting, um, was also part of their repertoire. The good news is PlayStation VR has come up, and it's come out with a pretty beefy library of games. Pretty positive reception thus far. Seems to function well. And the 360 degree porn videos on Pornhub are now available on PlayStation VR. VHS, Betamax, one of them supported porn and one of them won. I'm just saying. Either way, that's the news. We'll see you next time, super friends. Thank you.